You are going to love this. Well, if you have been working on data science for some time, then you might be aware about the pandas library. And if you have been working on pandas, then you must have used the apply method of God knows how many times. But we all wish, gosh, this was faster. And yes, I heard you. That changes this moment. By the end of this video, you will be able to run the apply method at least five times faster. So just a little typo or a trick. You'll see. Just follow along and enjoy. We'll just directly jump into the example. So here I'm importing pandas and numpy, which you all might be aware about. Here I'm creating a data frame with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm creating a data frame with 10 million rows and two columns, and I'm generating the numbers or the data into the data frame from a random normal distribution. So let's just run that. We'll just see the shape and with the shape you can see that it contains 10 million rows we'll just see how data frame looks like so as you can see we have uh, two columns a and b and we have some random numbers generated from a normal distribution now comes the fun part i have defined an apply method or the method that i want want to apply to my data frame so uh, since we have two columns a and b so here what i'm doing is uh, i'm checking if the values in both of these columns both the columns a and b is greater than zero if it is just return one else it will return zero so let's just run this one and now what i'm doing is i'm applying this function on the data frame that we have uh, up here in this cell and we are going to time this one i know it's going to take a lot of time but that's you know good things take time you know just be patient boys let's just run this and see how long it takes probably a few hours one eternity later okay so this took around a minute and 17 seconds uh, for simplicity we can say it took around 75 to 80 seconds so what i'm going to do is let me just scroll this so we are going to do a typo up here and that typo is going to save us a lot of time at least 50 percent of the time so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, first install this library if i can type it right it's called m apply so as you can see it's a typo uh we're going to run that uh, i have i already have it installed but it might take some time for you guys then we're going to import this m apply and we're going to initialize this as well so let me just first run this one okay it's imported and then we initialize this now there are some parameters in this init method which you can see by pressing shift tab while while being within the parenthesis and you can see the number of workers uh, which says the number of threads that we have on the cpu now if you are not aware about the number of threads that you have available this is the task manager it's quite big <laughs> so this is the task manager and uh, since i have a six core and 12 thread cpu so the number of workers in this case would be uh, 12 that's the maximum number i can input but if you are unaware about the number of threads that you have you can definitely check by you know going to the task manager and clicking upon the performance tab but for the sake of uh, you know uh, saving those th th that time and just keeping everything constant you can just input as it has minus one or you can just leave it at default the second thing that we have is a chunk size now uh, chunk size is the minimum amount of rows or columns that is going to be input uh, in 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 each chunk so what m apply does is m apply kind of creates uh, a, a script for you that is going to run a python script that is going to run in parallel on each of the threads that you have available so instead of manually tuning the chunk size uh, i just input as one and that's uh, what i'm going to do up here so i'll just input chunk size equals one and then we also have some parameters for progress bar the apply name something like that so i want the progress bar so i'm just going to keep it as true uh, this is what we want and now there's, uh, there's there isn't going to be any difference in how we apply m apply so let's just try this one what well, this is going to be really interesting so i'm going to write the same thing that have we have re that we have written in the uh, above cell in the normal apply cell i would say and the only change that i'm going to do is i'm going to put m apply instead of apply okay it's going to save us a lot of time you will see and we'll also monitor it on how if, if it's actually utilizing the cpu and the threads and all the things that we uh, talked about so let me just run this one and we go to the cpu bar you can also see a progress bar coming up here that is showing us the progress and we can also see the util utilization in the task manager it's going almost uh, 80 90 percent and you can also see the performance in the threads 
and the task is completed meanwhile we are just talking technical things like some docs so as you can see uh, it's completed in around uh, 15 and a half second or you know 16 seconds we can give it that but uh, the original apply took around 75 seconds now if you want to see the comparison this is again basic math kicking in so let's say it ran in 75 seconds and R ran in 15 seconds and if you want to see the difference in percentage obviously then it's going to be 80 percent it's 80 percent faster i mean i was assuming it would be somewhere around 50 percent faster so, no i i said at least 50 percent faster come on so there you go this was it for this video if you want to go ahead and look at the documentation for m apply you can just search m apply python you can go uh, to this uh, to this website the pi pi website but if you want to read the docs or go to the documentation you can click here there's not much documentation available for this one because it's just a simple thing but if you want you can just uh, go through it now go ahead have run this thing on your own and let me know in the comments if you found this useful or if it's actually worth using but one thing before you use it it's not going to work uh, i mean it's going to negatively impact the timing if you have a smaller data frame or smaller number of rows let me just demonstrate that quickly so let's say we have just 100 rows and if i run the normal apply it's going to take uh, 997 microseconds but if i do the same for uh, m apply it's going to take more time so it's going to take 761 milliseconds so that like exponentially slower so make sure keep it in mind and only use m apply when you have huge data that, that, that we have you know most of the times okay bye Thank you.